Uh, today, we will be discussing about uh, variables, uh, operators, and control statements for Arduino. So uh, for our presentation outline, we will be discussing variables, as we have said, uh, local, global variables, etc., and then uh, operators, control statements. Okay. So let us start with the uh, variables. Okay. So under variables, we have here the variable scope. So a scope is a region of a program and there are three places where variables can be declared. So they are inside a function or a block, which is called local variables. Another one is in the definition of a function or parameters, which is called the formal parameters. And then outside of all functions, which is called the global variables. Okay. Now, uh, when we see this one, a variable scope, uh, let's, as an analogy, let's say, for example, in our university, so basically, uh, when it comes to uh, the certain uh, jurisdiction or the power with respect to the decision making, under the global uh, variable, it is actually the university president. No? And then uh, an analogous for local variables is like, for example, on a separate uh, department. Say, for example, on an electronics uh, department, computer engineering department, and then ID department or electrical department. That's the concept under local variables. And then with respect to former parameters, it is somehow an instructor or a professor that is uh, mathematics professor, for example, no? that is that has been hired by our university to teach, uh, to teach the electronics engineering department students the uh, computer engineering uh, department and then the electrical and uh, so on. So basically under former parameters, we can, the main point is that we can actually call, uh, we can actually invite or call on a certain uh, parameter or the or that pro mathematics professor to actually to teach, uh, for example, so that we can uh, actually perform the uh, necessary programming with respect to that. Um, okay, so let us continue with another one uh, in detail, uh, local variables. So variables that are declared inside. No? So this is the key term under local variables. Inside a function or a block are called local uh, variables. We have said, and as an analogy, it is a pipe per department, uh, per department uh, uh, way of thinking, no? electrical, computer, and then electrical. So they can also be used only by statements that are inside a function or a block of code. And then local variables are not known, not known to a function outside their own. Okay. Uh, as an example for local variables, here is an example. So as you can see, uh, we have here the structure you know, of a uh, programming, Arduino programming, which is the setup and then the loop. We have learned that on our past presentations. So here is our main program. Uh, as you can see here, we have a local variable uh, declaration as shown here. So meaning uh, we can only use this variable on this loop. Okay? That's the main point under local variable. We can only use this variable at this certain uh, section of our program, which is under the main uh, void loop section. Now, under former parameters, it is special kind of variable used in subroutine to refer to one of the pieces of data provided as input to subroutine. So basically, we first you know, we first designate our former parameters. This is our main equation, and then we have just to call it. Uh, to call it so that we have the certain variable that has been called with a former parameter such as shown here. So on our analogy a while back, uh, we can actually call a mathematics professor to teach electronics, computer, and then uh, electrical students uh, the same, in the same manner in these uh, formal parameter variables. Right? Next one is the global variable. So defined outside of all functions, usually at the top of the program. The global variables will hold their value throughout the lifetime of your program. So it can be accessed by any function that is a global variable is available for use throughout your entire program 
after its declaration. So, um, the variable has be based on the definition can be used all throughout our uh, program itself. It is defined outside of all the functions. As, as an analogy, we have discussed a while back. It is on our university level. No? It is our university president that somehow have the jurisdiction through all of the uh, specific units. Okay. So as an example to that is this one, global variable. As you can see, here is our main program, which is designated by the local variable here. And then the uh, global variable is outside of our, all, all of our programs. So basically, um, the meaning of this is that the C, uh, the variable C is now equivalent to zero when we use that one on a certain program inside this loop. Okay. Now let us proceed to operators. So operators, it is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform specific mathematical or logical functions. In C language, uh, which is the language that is being used the, the, the language that is used in Arduino programming, C language, no, is rich in built-in operators and provides the following types of operators. So we'll be discussing later on arithmetic operators, uh, comparison operators, Boolean operators, uh, bitwise operators, and then uh, compound operators. Okay. So when we say arithmetic operators, uh, it actually uh, perform our basic arithmetic operations, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and addition of the uh, other operator. So let us start with the first uh, row here. So let us assume the variable A holds 10, and then the variable B holds 20. Then the following result will be uh, provided. So on an assignment operator, it stores the value to the right of the equal sign in the variable to the left of the equal sign. So meaning if the variable A is 10 and then the variable B is 20, so uh, the new value for variable A now would be 20. Since based from this uh, description, it stores the value to the right of the equal sign. Okay, So the value of B is 20, now be the value of, 20, of A will be 20 instead of 10. Okay, continuing with the second row here, uh, operator name is addition. It has a following symbol, addition. It adds the two operands. So 10 plus 20, actually 30. Okay, simple. Next one is subtraction. Same concept, subtract the second operand from the first. So 10 minus 20 is negative 10. Multiplication, division, as the name dictates. And uh, with this one, we try to focus our attention on the last row here with respect to modulo. Now, modulo is in symbol of percentage. So modulus operator and remainder of, of after an integer division. B, modulo of A will give zero. So basically, um, it has no remainder. The meaning for that is it has no uh, remainder, okay? So uh, 20 divided by 10 is 2. The remainder is 0. Um, another example for modulo is that, for example, we need uh, just to reinforce the concept of modulo. Uh, it is actually the remainder of a certain um, uh, numbers. Huh? So let us say, for example, uh, we want to uh, calculate the remainder of the 5 divided by 4, for example, no? 5 divided by 4. Now, that is 1.25. We want to know what is the uh, remainder. No? So, we will be uh, copying this one, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, the decimal point, and then multiply that one to the divisor, which is 4. That will become 1. Okay. So, meaning 5 modulo 4 has a remainder of 1. Another practical example for modulo is this uh, example. No? So when we want to prepare seconds for display as hours, minutes, and seconds, we want to know uh, how many hours, how many minutes, and how many seconds it will take. You know? So what is the conversion here? About 582 seconds. So modulo will come in handy in it. No? So with respect to R, the test, if for example, if it is 
divided by it has a modulo no if the modulo is zero meaning it has no hour value if the modulo under minutes is a modulo of the certain value uh, it has a minute value and so on okay so 582 divided by 3600 3600 is actually the uh, conversion factor with respect to hour so one hour is equivalent to 3600 seconds so 582 divided by 3600 is zero so meaning uh, when we divide that one and then the modulo for this divisor is actually zero meaning it has no hour in it another one is minute so 582 divided by 60 okay and then modulo of 60 and then as you can see here uh, we have the value as 9 meaning it is the remainder of that 582 with respect to minutes and then similarly find for the modulo of this one that will become 42 now, to reiterate the point is that when we try to convert 582 seconds, that is equivalent to 9 minutes, that is the remainder of, in terms of minutes, uh, when we perform modulo. And then another one, in terms of seconds, you know, 42 seconds, that is the modulo for 582 divided by 60, or when we say 582 divided by 60, that is the remainder, uh, 42 seconds. Okay. Uh, next one is the comparison operators. So here is the list of comparison operators, as you can see here in the table. So let us assume that variable A again holds 10 and that the variable B holds 20. So equal to, the double equal sign. So it checks if the value of two operands is equal or not. If yes, then the condition becomes true. So is 10 you know, equivalent to 20? It is not true. Okay, next one is not equal the meaning for this is not equal so checks if the two operands is equal or not if the values are not equal then the condition becomes true okay so 10 uh, not equal to 20 yes so that is true and then less than now as the name implies so observe 10 less than 20 true and then greater than of course uh, 10 greater than 20 no not true and then another one, less than or equal, and so on. 